Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a couple days, and I wanted to record yesterday, and I kept leaving my recorder at home, so that was totally my fault. Every time I thought about, like, uh, maybe I should record while I'm driving because I'm so busy, I would uh, look for my recorder, and it was just not there. I don't record on my phone because it always sounds like trash, so I would just rather make sure that I have my recorder with me in the car with the other stuff so I can upload it when I'm done. Anyways, thanks for, um, before, uh, I get into anything, I just want to let you guys know if you go to zeroforhire.com, you can get my first two EPs, the Better Off EP and Heaven's Hype EP for just 99 cents. Uh, just go to zeroforhire.com and click on the music link and you'll see the icons for Heaven's Hype and better off EP 99 cents okay so today I guess this one's more appropriate for millennial reign but I will also probably update the zero for hire podcast as well with it I'm not not sure which one this will become but I've been praying a lot because I had this this horrible horrible nightmare and I think it ties into maybe subconsciously like elements of my life or something so i'll just i'll tell you the dream first and then i'll tell you what's been going on also like everybody on the highway is driving way faster than they should be so i have to drive super fast to keep up with traffic today so in the dream i was like creeping around this field and there was like you know three foot four foot grass all of just really high tall grass and i was there were these barrels with what looked like oil lamps on like scattered out at about let's say every 12 feet or so kind of like how you would have bales of hay scattered about a field and there was this guy a guard and he was on the main road and for some reason I was hiding behind a barrel from him I don't remember the part of the dream there's a lot of details about the dream I don't remember because of what happens next so in the dream I'm hiding from this guard and it's nighttime, and it's like a full moon, so there's a lot of moonlight. And I see the guard walk by as I'm hiding behind a barrel, and in that same direction, about four feet ahead of me, is a giant green python. And and the snake is arched upward, kind of like basking in the, in the moonlight, if you will. And... Um, Holy crap, everybody in this cluster is going way faster than we should be. This this green python is is arched up in the moonlight. And he looks, and I I try to hide from the snake by going behind the barrel even even more, but it's, it's too late. He already knows I'm there, and he lunges at me. So, with my right hand, just I kind of flail in desperation to try to grab his neck so that he can't bite me. But instead, I grabbed the snake's snout and the inside of his mouth. So my thumb is inside the snake's mouth, pointing upward. And I'm using my, the knuckle of my pointer finger. You know how like you do a hand puppet and you have your thumb on your knuckle and you would move your thumb to make a mouth? So it's like in that motion, the knuckle of my pointer finger is on the top of the snake's snout and my thumb is inside his mouth between his two fangs and no it's the other way around my knuckle is inside no yeah yeah my thumb is inside his mouth between his fangs my knuckle is at the top of his snout and I'm holding on for dear life because I'm like this snake is gonna bite me if I let go even a little bit now, I know that like a snake's fangs kind of unfold from the inside of his mouth. And luckily, like they weren't able to unfold because like my thumb was preventing his fang from unfolding all the way. I don't know if snakes have a bottom fang, but in the dream he didn't. So I'm holding the inside of his mouth with my thumb and with, with my knuckle is on his snout. And he's coming at me and he wraps his tail around my back to try to grab my neck but I grab his tail with my left hand so I got this snake trying to wrap his body around me at the backside and he's trying to bite my face but I'm holding on to his face with my hand 
and I'm also trying to be quiet because there's a guard. So I'm breathing like... (sighs) Also, while this is happening, in the dream, I guess there was somebody with me because I was trying to get their attention, and I tapped the side of the barrel to try to get this person's attention. I don't remember who it was. And the person comes up behind me, and they're like, oh, they're, you know, they're freaking out. It's a snake. They got to be quiet. Oh, the snake's going to get. And I'm like, we got to get, we, you know, got to do something to grab the snake so he doesn't bite me. And as that's going on, this giant black wasp crawls out of the ground, like under the barrel. I guess I disturbed him when I tapped on the barrel and flies up toward my face. So now I have a python and a giant black wasp flying around in my face. And this and this wasp, like, he had a stinger, like, the size of my thumb. The stinger on this thing looked like a wolf's claw or a wolf's fang or something. It was huge. And I'm like, okay, if I get stung by this wasp, I am definitely going to die. Definitely going to die instantly. Uh, maybe not instantly, but it's going to hurt a lot. Uh, if I get bit by this snake... I'm pretty, also pretty sure I'm going to die. I don't know. I think the snake is poisonous. So my hand is in his mouth and I'm like, I cannot let him shake loose or get that fang inside my hand. And this, and this wasp is flying around in my face, between my face and my hand. And the snake or the, the, the wasp moves his way back over toward my hand like he's going to stab my hand. It's the same hand that I'm holding the snake's head with. And so he's flying around my hand, and so in one motion, I see him, like, look, he's pulling that stinger out, like he's getting ready to get me. I pull the snake's head down instead. So instead of stabbing me, he sting, he shoves that stinger right in the snake's head, right between the eyes. And I see his eyes get big for a second, and kind of like he starts dozing off, but his head's swelling up. All while this is happening... I'm breathing like this. Now, usually when that happens, my wife will wake me up because she knows I'm having a nightmare. But that's not the case this time. She's dead asleep. I wake up with both hands in battle position. My right hand holding the snake's head, my left hand doing something, and I'm breathing like the Dickens. And it's like a bajillion degrees in our bedroom because the heater's all the way up. And so usually when when the heater's up too high, I have really vivid, terrible nightmares like that. And I'm like, I wake my wife up and I'm like, hey, I need you to turn that heater down. I just had a really bad nightmare. And I get up and she's like, can you just come back to bed? And I'm like, nope, nope, I can't just come back to bed. I have enough adrenaline in my veins to kill a man with my bare hands right now. I'm sorry. That was probably the most intense dream slash nightmare slash adventure I've ever had. Um, and then when I try to finally start getting sleepy to go back to sleep, I'm thinking to myself, I'll bet you the Lord sent that wasp. Lord, thanks for sending that wasp to sting the snake because I was deadlocked. And without that added problem to change up my my thinking, you know, to shift my emergencies around, I wouldn't have been able to think of a way to get out of that situation. And and I started thinking about how in the dream, the wasp was an added problem. I already had a problem with the guard and I was trying to hide. And then the python just was, that put me in deadlock because we, there was no way I could get the snake off of me. I had his tail in one hand, I had the head in the other. But when, when the wasp showed up, instant death I had to think of something and he's coming for me and the snake's coming for me I put those two things against each other I'm just glad it all worked out and I woke up when I did uh I think if it was real (laughs) the wasp probably would have stung me too or the snake would have bit me anyway I don't know but I'm or the guard would have shot me or something but in the in you know it was enough for me to think about the fact that I had all these added stacking layered problems that worked out for my good in the end. And I wonder how much God does this in our lives. Um, I wonder how many times I'm just being 
faced with some adversity, some problem, some challenge, and I am just absolutely certain I'm not going to be able to get out of it. And yet God has a different plan. God has a different idea. Because that was absolutely the case in my dream and I'm grateful for it. So I wanted to leave you guys with that. I thought that was really, you know, not just an exciting story, but a good lesson to be learned from the exciting story. I love when I'm trying to merge into the fast, into the passing lane and there's somebody camping out in my blind spot, like pass me or don't pass me, but get out of the way. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. This, this one I'll put on the millennial rain podcast, uh, just to let you guys know the better off EP and the heaven type EP is 99 cents on zero for hire.com. So Go on to the website, jump on, check it out, and I will uh, talk to you guys. Hopefully, I'll have another better story for you soon. All right, that's it, guys. Stay holy.